Hey, uh, Jack Egan here with Downpour Pictures, and we're going to be doing our first ever uh, how to blog uh, video. And we're just going to screen capture for you and have the audio, of course. Um, I looked online, um, I always look at these things constantly on YouTube to help me do things when I'm editing, and I really find something that's not already done, so that's why we haven't done it. But I actually found something that um, I couldn't find it online, and I do it all the time and, and didn't think much of it, so actually I thought it'd be useful to you guys. So let's take a look. Let's swing around here, take a look at our computer. We have quite a large screen for you, so it should make this uh, fairly easy. And what we've got here is a project um, in already open in Premiere. Um, this is in Premiere 5. If you're already on 6 or if you're behind, you know, it's going to be a little different, but um, not really, probably. So here we're working on something. And uh, I want to use audio from a Mac program. I've got Premiere here on my Mac, which I love. But uh, Final Cut and GarageBand came with all these great sound effects. So, stuff like this. There's bits of music, you know, Foley, things you just, you know, you want to use. So, uh, I go into Premiere. I've got two screens here, so you can't really see what I'm doing. But I go into Premiere and. I'm trying to open up that sound effect and it was called Alien Impact. So normally you would come over here and you'd hit import and you just, you know, look it up. And what you're gonna find out is that it's a CAF file and that the CAF file is not gonna show up for you. So what we're gonna do to get around this is actually we're just gonna open up ourselves that uh, handy dandy new little window. I'm going to look up Alien Impact, and we're going to open it with the default Soundtrack Pro, which is a, the Final Cut uh, sound program, basically. And there it is. I'm just going to go up, and you can save a copy or save as. Um, I always do save a copy as, and I just make a wave with the exact same name in the same folder so I can find everything really easily. It does create a duplicate. Um, you can get rid of one, obviously, if you just don't need it. So, once we're done with that, we'll just go ahead and hide this second and go back to Premiere. And... And, okay, so once you save that sucker as a WAV file, you can come back over here to Premiere, and just bring up your normal imp import type that sucker in and you'll see that a wave version there's two because I've if you play it anywhere it'll come up and stuff but anyway that's that's it right there as you can see it just got dumped in the same uh, folder and the iLife sound effects booms that's what the rest so you open that sucker up and it's gonna work fine now and you can drag it Having two monitors is not handy when you're trying to do one of these promos, just so you all know. Just just complaining for you. Anyway, drops right in there, plays normal, everything works great. Now I can cut it all sorts of stuff. Um, and that's how I basically constantly use stuff that comes with Final Cut in this weird CAF format and just dump it over into Premiere when I need it in Premiere for any reason, which actually comes up more than I think some people think. Um, a lot of stuff, you know, if you have trouble transferring it, that's, um, I'm just blabbing now, going blah, 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 blah. That's, that's it. That's how you do it. I hope that was helpful. You should use it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>